guys, Awesome Specs 21 here, your destination for speculation. And oh my goodness, let me just collect my thoughts for a, for a bit because like I just watched this episode twice in a row because I was trying to figure out like what exactly happened. Carve it on you evil little... Mm, you ruined my jam moment. Mm, I'm gonna kill you, Carve it on. Uh, like maybe this... Like, I agree, that that was, like, terrible timing on Jay's part, and maybe Garmadon actually did him a favor, but he ruined my ship. Nobody gets away with ruining my ship. Especially not Jay, because they're, like, my OTP, and it's not fair. Okay, now that I've gotten the big thing out of the way, let's move into some smaller things that I liked about the episode. One, the Lloyd and Oni... The uh, Lloyd and Garmadon and Oni thing, beautifully done on their part. The lighting was beautiful, as far as I can tell, from the quality of the episode wasn't very good. The lighting was beautiful. The animation was beautiful. If you ignore the bad quality of the actual video, then yeah, it was really, really beautiful. And this episode made me laugh. And it made me cry, and they were arguing over a freaking smile or something, I don't know. But, like, Garvedon is just driving me crazy because one, he ruined my ship, and two, he seems like he's coming back as kind of like the funny Garmadon from the movie. He just walks over there and presses a button and the whole bounty goes down. It's like, that that's a design flaw right there. I don't know who decided to put the ignition switch, like all the way over there when it should be by the steering wheel, but I I don't know why I'm talking about this. I should be talking about the episode in general. So yeah, guys, the episode by itself was amazing. I'm still trying to comprehend everything that happened. That that was a big episode. If the whole season is if if the rest of the season is gonna be like this then this might just make it over Tournament of Elements on my ranking the seasons chart. But yeah, that that was a really good episode. The only part I didn't like was that the giant thing was ruined. It would have been perfect if it just... Well, maybe not. I don't know. That that was like really poor timing on Jay's part. I blame Cole for that. Speaking of which, I thought that Cole was going to get more screen time because this is his season. I feel like Lloyd is stealing the spotlight once again. Not that he's a showboat or anything. I get it. He's the most important character. But do they have to reflect on that every single dang season? It gets a little old after a while, and I get it. He's part Oni and everything, but like... I need more footage for my cult tributes, okay? This isn't working. Anyway, I just hope that the next few episodes focus on Cole because it is his season and it's probably the last one he's gonna get. If they're planning to do what I think they're going to do, which I mentioned this in my last review, and it ended on a cliffhanger. I hate it when episodes do that because I, I don't know, are they okay? Oh, by the way, Garmadon is, like, I'm really enjoying him this season. Other than the part where he ruined my perfect jail moment. I mean, one, why are they letting Garmadon roam free on the ship? Shouldn't they at least, like, stra try to strap him down or something? And I have a feeling we'll be seeing Garmadon in the next season, too. If there is a next season. I hope there's a next season. I really enjoyed this episode. And, like, Garmadon saved Lloyd's life. So I have a feeling like the real Garmadon is in there somewhere. They just need to find him. But, like, you know, the, the, the part with the photograph and Lloyd looking at it and then Garmadon breaking it, that was a beautifully done scene. I know that there's, like, symbolism there or something like that. That, that was just beautiful and I loved it and maybe I cried a little bit and other than the part where Garmadon freaking ruined my ship I really like this episode did I mention that the bringer of doom is amazing like, I know she only had, like, a few lines, but it's- The Bringer of Doom was cool to me. That whole scene, that whole final scene, 
was so cool, but I'm I'm worried that like next time we see them, I'm taking it from the trailers here. Um, Cole's not in that scene where like everybody's hugging around the bounty and Kai's all sad, so maybe something happens to Lloyd. This was a great episode. I'm trying to think of things I hate ab hated about it, but other than the garment on ruining my ship thing, I can't really think of anything wrong with it, except maybe it was a little on the cheesy side with some of the dialogue, but that could have just been like the way it was edited or something. It wasn't ed edited very well. But oh my god! She almost popped the question. That was so cute. I got so excited and the guard on ruined it and I just want to cry. <laughs> I mean, I said this like 10 times before, but it was really poor timing on Jay's part because like the whole city is underneath it and Garmadon's on the ship and whatever. He'll find, he'll, he'll get it. I, I believe in you, buddy. You'll get it. <laughs> Um, Cole took the news better than I thought he would. He's just like, oh, it's just like ripping off a bandage, and they're just like, oh, you just compared Nia to an old, to an old, to like an old bandage, or something like that. You know, it's just, it was great because I know for sure Cole's not gonna mess this up and say that he has feelings for Nia again. Cause yay. My ship is saved. Sorry, Cola Chippers, but too bad. And now I got a friend that's gonna get married. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm calm now. I'm calm. No, I'm not they're gonna get married. I really hope one of them doesn't die because I, I, I <laughs> I'm gonna cry if that happens. Anyway. I'm wondering why Kai is so cool about this, because, like, throughout the seasons, he's been, like, on off shipping Jaya. He's like, I ship it, I don't ship it, I ship it, I don't ship it. It's so embarrassing that my sister's going out with my best friend, kind of like, kind of like that. And I'm just, like, dude, deal with it. And now Kai's, like, all for it, and good for you, buddy. I'm rambling on about the proposal, aren't I? Okay, well, I'm sorry. But oh my god, it's finally gonna happen! Okay, okay. Like, like I said, the whole Oni scene was really cool, and this whole episode just looked a lot better than it did the first time. Than it did the last episode. And I would say that it's definitely one of the best episodes I've seen out of Ninjago. This one felt Ninjago. Things I didn't like about it? too much focus on Lloyd, because you guys know how I am with that, and um, not enough focus on Cole, because like, it's finally his season, give the boy his spotlight, please. All you gave him was Day of the Departed, and let's be honest, most people don't like that. If you do, then great, but most people don't. It's not one of the well or known liked seasons, but you know, if you like Day of the Departed, that's great. I just really hope that this turns out to be the cold season that we all wanted for so long, and that we didn't just waste our time waiting for this cold season and it turned out to be a Lloyd season, just like the Nia season turned out to be, and it just... <clears throat> Lloyd, you just really push my buttons sometimes. Okay. So yeah, I would have to give this episode a 9 out of 10, and let's hope the rest of these are this high, because wow, this was a good one. Alright, well the next review is going to be up as soon as possible, as soon as the episode runs out, and I will see you guys later. Okay, this has been Awesome Specs 21, signing off. Stay awesome, you guys. Bye!